Kingston Silver Lake High School's robotics team recently participated in a national robotics competition. First Robotics, for grades 9 through 12, seeks to inspire high school students to pursue careers in science and technology. Silver Lake's robotics team traveled to Boston to participate, and PAC-TV Community News caught up with them for a rundown. Back in September, I was approached by Kim uh, to be an advisor to the robotics club. And uh, it was something that I certainly wanted to take on because um, I think robotics is extremely important. I think that um, how we learn to interface with machines and um, the whole engineering aspect and the whole kind of applied science was uh, very exciting and, and something I thought that we should have at the school. And so um, we moved forward, but I have to tell you that it's not mostly about what I did, I was just advising. It was really Kim that moved this team forward and uh, put us in a place where we are. Um, in January, we learned the task of what the robot had to do. It was the kickoff, and Bridgewater Raynham supported us with that. And we learned that the game is Ultimate Ascent this year. So a robot has to be shooting frisbees on a 2 minute and 15 second match into three different level goals. And at the end, it is allowed to climb a 90 inch high pyramid that can go to any of the three levels on it. And we decided since we're a rookie team, we'd focus on shooting. So we focused on that, we built some prototypes, realized different things worked, some other didn't. We had a lawn mower design, we had a direct shooting design, and eventually we were down to the last week and we still hadn't decided on something. So in the last week we were able to finally build something, but when the cutoff date of six weeks ended, we didn't really have it working. But we've been working since then on the extra 30 pounds we can bring to the competition and work on our robot there to get that shooter working, get a backup mechanism in there in case it doesn't, and hopefully do really well for our rookie season. See, it's all about the students. Remember, this was student-driven. Kim was the one who started it, right? And she's the one who drove this whole thing forward. I was just advising. And that's how we model the entire team. It's about getting them the engineering experience. It's about getting them the experience building the robot. It's not about me building a robot or some of the engineers from the community that helped us building the robot. It's about the students learning to build this and what it's like to succeed at it and, quite frankly, what it's like to fail at it, too. Because once you're out there, you don't, you don't get a grade outside. It either works or it doesn't. It's so win, win, win on every level because the students win because they get to build this thing and be a part of it. The community wins because they get to see what these kids can do. The school wins because it's going to, you know, uh, you know, make our students that much more marketable and from, you know, what they do getting into college to what they might do after college. And of course, you know, um, it just snowballs into a, you know, kind of kind of could be potentially, I guess, uh, um, a, a conduit, if you will, to uh, one of the things that Silver Lake High School is all about.